welcome back to Riverwalks. Today I'm in the heart of the Sussex countryside, travelling up one of the most beautiful rivers in the county. Thank you, Colin, for the lift. Thank you, madam. Please call again. I hope okay. you have a nice day. I'm travelling on the River Arran from Littlehampton up to Amberley, and at the moment I'm halfway, I'm at Arundel. The elegant and ancient town of Arundel lies at the foot of the South Downs. Its castle is one of the largest in the country and has been home to the Dukes of Norfolk for over 700 years. It was built in Norman times, ruined during the Civil War and then reconstructed in the 19th century. Arundel Castle, a magnificent building and a historic monument, but what's not so well known are the magnificent gardens. The hidden secret of Arundel. The gardens have been transformed by the Duchess and the head gardener, Jerry Kelsey. Well, the gardens certainly look fantastic, Jerry. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it, how big's the area? Um, the area is probably about 40 acres, and that includes the gardens and the grounds. Um, right. Today, we run it with about six people, but. Oh, well, that's the, quite a lot. Yeah, but in the Victorian times, there was 40, so uh, things are slightly different. So down a bit. Are they an exact copy of what the gardens would have looked like? No, we've tried to capture the atmosphere of the Victorian era, but in fact, the, the whole garden here was a veg garden originally, and um, it would have supplied um, food for the house and wherever the family went all over the country. Oh, so they shipped all their vegetables and fruit around? Um, they did indeed, yes. Oh, um, and so do you still run the gardens and supply the house, or is it just to look pretty? Um, we do indeed. We're very much a working garden here, which makes us a little bit more unique. So you'd all see sort of gaps in the, in the soil. Well, I was going to say, I mean, these must be cut flowers, are they? They are cut flowers, and uh, they go up to the house. They'll be ready in about July. Have the gardens always been in such good condition? Well, the Duchess and I have worked over the years to actually bring up the standard of the garden um, when I first came here. I mean, this area was a green desert. There was no <laughs> gardens at all, and it was just basically a lawn. Um, the veg garden was actually a, more or less a rubbish dump, and we had to convert that. And when I was first told, I thought, oh, my God, you know, but we, <laughs> we put pen to paper, put the plans together, and within a year or so after actually starting it, we had this wonderful veg garden. While I'm here in the secret garden, who could pass up the chance of doing some royal strawberry picking? Very delicate, these chaps. So, any particular ones that we pick? Um, just the ones that are red, really. Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 like that, you mean? Absolutely, So it's yeah. one for me, one, one for the pot. Absolutely, you've got to try them at the same time. It's all very important, mm. that part. Mm. Oh, terrible mm. job, this. At Arundel Castle. Supposedly picking strawberries, eating more than I'm actually picking, but never mind. I'm sure they won't mind. Mm -hmm. 